Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Out of everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an ex an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized? I put my headphones back on, sorry about that. Now, let's go to real voice acting. Ahem! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? That's so horrible voice acting, my apologies. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga! You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things you can't admit you're really into until you figure out what the air, where the air person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga and missed a stack of various books in the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Aha, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating, irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parafate girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or is simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it for the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Kentu. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls up the first volume of Parafate Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Ah! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ah, uh, what's up? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Eh. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly need to be sitting this... <clears throat> I didn't expect to be sitting this close to her either. If you can't tell, I haven't been taking room to breathe, by the way. I'm going off one breath right now. <laughs> breathe. Alright, I can breathe. We can do this. This is an assault. This is all it is. is a visual novel. How can they make a horror game out of this? Ahem. I'm enjoying the story, though. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and look for the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... 
I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, and it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? <clears throat> well, obviously. Well, where was my her hype? I had that, it was like, grouchy voice for her. Ahem. Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their book backstories. And when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Uh... This guy gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Heh, <laughs> good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Atsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious, since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess it explains Asuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up for manga, it's definitely one of the better ones. It is. Because if you guys, if you learn to pick for manga, or anime, and it's cooking, that's a useful life skill. Let's be honest. Baking, cooking, etc. That's a useful life skill, and you learned it, or got interested in it, through anime, or manga, or whatever. Hey, good skill. Good skill. Good skill. Back. Not to mention she's really good at it too, so who am I to judge? Oh, it's a new image, finally. Aw. Wait, what's it? It's her. So she's sitting like this. Oh, if I were sitting cross-legged, she's just sitting with her knees up in the air. Hmm. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well... I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well... I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think this manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the era losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Alright. We're gonna stop this session here, and we're gonna continue this session in the next session. Which is right after this, because these are 10 minute parts. Either way, I shall see you in the next part where we finish this conversation with Natsuki. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a moment, everyone. Well, if you're watching this all in one, I suppose. And... I'm out.